Good afternoon, Mark. Did you have a good journey down? Yes, Paul, we did. Just over three and a half hours. Long journey, but hopefully worth a while. Excellent. And what's the uh, hope for result today? Well, obviously, we would like uh, a win, same as any other team. We don't come all this way just to lose. So I predict a, hopefully a 2 1 win. 2 1. Thank you very much. You <laughs> good afternoon, Sean. How are you today? I'm um, fine, Paul. Yourself? <laughs> yeah, very good. Now, is this your first visit to Wingate and Pinchley? It is, yeah, and very impressed I am too. Nice facilities here, aren't they? Yeah, wonderful. The pitch looks like the start of the season. A bit of RD, come and understand. Perfect. Excellent. And what's your hopeful result? Um, don't mind, really. It sounds good before games left, or three left, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, two nil to us, I hope. Two nil. Thank you very much, Sean. Hello, Jerry. What do you uh, look forward to today? Uh, good, entertaining football. I think both teams are, uh, are, are attractive football teams. Lovely playing surface, so it should, should be ideal for the, uh, for the skillful players. Good crowd. Good, and of course we're uh, against one of the top teams in the league today. Yes, and uh, if, if results go their way, they could uh, they could go up to second, and uh, you know that that will improve their playoff chances. I think that would please me as well. Thank you very much, Jerry. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you at the last off game again. What's been the best thing this season? Winning the league. Winning the league, and which players have impressed you so far? Joe Francis. Um, Jamie Dobbold, Andy Reynolds. Uh, Andy had a very good game last game, didn't he? He actually had to do something for a change. <laughs> yeah. There's a picture of him in the paper saying safe hands. Oh, right, that's right. And there's a picture of you in the paper as well, I gather, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> and my sisters, Daisy and Katie. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Afternoon, Terry. How long have you been associated with the club now? In an official capacity since 1985. And unofficially? As, well, back in the 50s, I used to be one of those nasty little boys who came in and watched the first half, played goal, football in goal at half time until we got sworn at, and then played football behind the goal uh, in the second half. And asked the result when the game was over so I could tell when I got home. <laughs> I watched him properly in 1962. Excellent. And, um, is this the best run that Last Off have ever had, do you think? Best run, it depends what you mean by the best run. In terms of football and the level of uh, uh, football that I'm playing at, it must be. Um, in the 1960s, um, we won the title, uh, it's a county street title, seven times out of nine, something like that, you see. So, for consistent um, success over a period of time, the 60s were the peak. But the competition was much weaker, much weaker than the Eastern Counties really is now, let alone going up to Ron. And, mm. and uh, how about the crowds? They've gone down a bit since those days, haven't they? Back when I started watching the 60s, I mean, 2,000, 3,000 crowds for the order of the day. I remember in the early 1970s, there was a letter being moaned in the lack of support uh, in the journal because crowds had dropped below 1,000. Mm. Again, when I first came on board in 1985, the crowds... Um, we're averaging about 120. So if you think in what 25 years have gone up sixfold. Certainly, it's very good today, and I hope we'll see lots of our um, lots of our supporters here today as well. What result do you hope for today, Terry? Oh, you always hope for a low stop win, obviously. But uh, with the title secure, that takes a certain amount of pressure off. I mean, I would like to see us to get 100 points for the season, which means five points for these last three games. So a win today would mean that, or take a bit of the pressure off the last two games. I say when you're up there and you've got quite a substantial lead at the top, I mean, whether you pinch up with 100 points or 96 points doesn't make an awful lot of difference. You're still going to be seven or eight points better off than the team in second place. Thank you very much, Sorry. My pleasure. Yeah, they were winning one at half time, weren't they?
Good luck for play up. Yeah. You've got to play more, James. Promotion. <laughs> you can well, Bill. Yes, would you like to speak into my uh, hamster? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you think of that match, sir? Well, that's a game where we obviously had to give chance to the fringe players, and Mickey and Aidy will have learned lessons from that, I hope. Um, always difficult to motivate yourself when you've won the league, and in that sense, nothing to play for other than, I believe, competitive footballers want to compete, want to win. Uh, good side, I thought, on the day, uh, and therefore no complaints, but you'll always say with ten men, uh, that was always up against it. Yeah, I think it was, uh, it's always a pity when somebody gets sent off for uh, the use of the mouth. Yes, and uh, I, mean, I think it was only the second red card we've had this season, and, uh, and to get one for, as you say, uh, verbal uh, abuse, it's a shame, really. I thought that Craney might have been sent off initially for the last man tackle. Mm. Um, but, uh, as I say, lack of discipline is always disappointing. But heat of the moment, I suppose, you have to recognise does happen. Well, I think everybody's very enthusiastic about it. So. Thank you very much, Bill. OK. So, what did you think of the match? What positives can we bring out of that? That we're champions. <laughs> and that we didn't need to win and we didn't need to win <laughs> and I thought we did well to bring it back to 2-2 good goal by Jamie, excellent finish and very difficult on a hot day like this to play with 10 men but the boys kept going right to the end which I think shows the spirit in the squad and uh, bring on next season quite right, bring on next season, <laughs> thank you